guys make sure to watch this video until the end for the full official trailer hey guys what's up it's your boy back again with another brand new video and today guys we gotta talk about the new trailer for the ps6 and that's right it's out it's at the end of this video and it's official so make sure to watch this video until the end guys and also leave a like and a subscribe if you're an xbox fan and yeah guys it's official it's insane it's the end of this video so yeah just keep on watching you know leave that like and subscribe it's just one second too and it really means a lot to me and without further ado guys let's get on with the video okay so basically yeah keep on watching this video for the official trailer but this is what sony actually had to say about the ps6 official release date by looking at the launch dates of Sony's previous PlayStation console releases, it's possible to make an estimated guess on when the company could theoretically launch the PS6. The original PlayStation console launched on December 3rd, 1994 in Japan, but English versions wouldn't come until a year later. From September to November of 1995, the PlayStation then released in North America, Europe and Australia. The PlayStation 2 also released first in Japan on March 6th, 2000 with a North American, European and Austrian release rolling out throughout November 24, 2000. Continuing this tradition, PlayStation 3 launched first in Japan as well on November 11, 2006 and then in North America on November 17 of the same year. Unlike all the previous consoles, the PlayStation 4 began its release rollout in North America on November 15, 2013 and ended in Japan on February 22, 2014. This means there were 6 years between the launch of the original PlayStation and the PS2, 6 years between the PS2 and the PS3, and 7 years between the release of PS3 and PS4. And now, in the year 2020, at the dawn of the PS5 generation, 7 years between it and the PS4. Although these numbers average to be 6.5 years between new console releases, it's also important to note that as hardware gets better and the differences between gaming PCs and gaming consoles continue to diminish, these newer generations may last longer than the previous ones. Judging from these numbers, it's very likely that it will be at least 7 more years before the PS6 release. Taking into account hardware and graphical upgrades, the ability to patch in bug fixes and update features via online connections, and the vast amount of research and effort it will take to move gaming forward where it is right now. It could be even longer. Players shouldn't expect to see a PlayStation 6 until at least 2028, but until then, it looks like the PlayStation 4, 4, I mean not 4, 5, will do just fine and maybe even be available in stores by then. So, yeah, pretty crazy stuff, guys. Alright, guys, that's the end of this video. Hopefully you enjoyed everything I talked about. And if you already haven't, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video if you're a PlayStation 6 fan. And once again, thank you so much for watching this video until the end. It really means a lot to me if you could just subscribe and like and also turn those notifications on so you don't miss any of my latest uploads it would make me very happy and yeah guys as always stay safe and peace 